Hi, thanks for tuning into this webcast. I'm Mike Kilalia with IEDC and drillingcontractor.org. Uh, we're here on the in the aftermath of the SPE IEDC Managed Pressure Drilling and Underbalanced Operations Conference, which we just held here in uh, beautiful Kuala Lumpur. And sitting with me today is Mr. Brian Grayson, who is Product Service Line Manager for Weatherford's Controlled Pressure Drilling Group. And Brian is also recently elected as chairman of the IEDC Underbalanced Operations and Managed Pressure Drilling Committee. So we're going to talk a little bit about this emerging technology of managed pressure. And uh, Brian, I want to say thanks a lot for uh, turning out to talk to us today. Really appreciate it. Um, MPD has been on the tip of a lot of people's tongues for a few years now. Can you kind of give us an update on the you know, general state of the technology? Well, Mike, the state of technology for MPD is is actually really exciting right now. Uh, at least exciting from from our portion of the industry because unlike a lot of the the industry segments that MPD was born from, say like the underbalance industry a few years back, MPD really is a technology and a and a and a way of thinking that's that's needed by the industry to carry forward. Uh, really, with what we're dealing with now, from 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 a challenge geologically, reservoir, all the aspects that we're looking at from a typical operation of well construction, MPD technologies are required for us to take those next steps to to keep I uh, to to be able to maintain the supply of of our resources and and continue to I think meet the demands of the future. Okay. MPD's been talked about as a way to drill the undrillable wells uh, in a, a lot of different situations such as uh, deep water Gulf of Mexico I think would be one example but um, we do hear that there are some perceptions at least that there are reliability problems with MPD systems. What, what would you say to that? Well and, and that's kind of, and I, I've heard the same here recently and that was a little bit confusing at least from our perspective as the committee and respective uh, service and I believe the, the uh, active operators in this technology these days. Uh, MPD in its essence is very simple. It doesn't take that big of a step at least in its standard for its uh, current form today past our conventional techniques. So as far as the technologies are concerned, they're actually simpler than a lot of the other technologies that are being introduced into the industry these days to overcome our problems. Uh, I think a lot of that um, perception may be misperception based on previous um, industry attempts of, of similar technologies, once again like the, the underbalanced where there were some issues, not necessarily always from a technology standpoint, but from a delivery and uh, end result standpoint. Uh, as far as MPD technology is concerned, it, it's been accepted so widely, so quickly, that, uh, that I think a lot of that acceptance has come through the, the actual performance and success of the, of the techniques and technologies that are out there. So uh, to be honest, I think a lot of the perceptions are, are simply misperceptions. Okay, thanks, Brian. Uh, I'd like to turn now a little bit to the committee itself. Um, the committee's been working on a number of initiatives to really move uh, commercial acceptance or commercial viability forward, such as uh, de developing some recommended practices. And you can tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, the, uh, once again, being that MPD truly, from at least the, the industry's understanding of it as it stands now, really was just brought into the I would say the oil field in large in about 2004, 2005 time frame. Although saying that, the mm -hmm. MPD is one of those things that has been probably practiced for the last 20 years in some way or another. But 2000, 2000, 2004, 2005 is when MPD really began to be used in the industry. And of course with that, it was used without a, and it's also growing quite a bit in the industry. And so, of course, with that, mm -hmm. you want to help the industry along, recognizing some of the maybe potential pitfalls, and also to help 
shortcut some of the lessons learned and just operational uh, developments that that operators themselves, rig contractors, and service companies would experience going through these. So recommended practices, as with the underbalanced practices beforehand, are, are one of those things that will help the industry not only grasp the technology, but in that I hope accept it a little bit easier too. Terrific. And uh, another thing I think some operators may have had some issues with or problems with or uncertainty perhaps is the best word is what is a good candidate? How do you pick a well uh, to do an MPD uh, process on? So can you tell us about the committee's work on a candidate selection tool? Exactly. Well, and, and, and stepping back a little bit, MPD is a pretty broad umbrella. MPD has a lot of different objectives to it. Uh, the main one, of course, being able to construct the well. But in, in that, I mean, MPD has different operational facets. We have, for example, pressurized mudcap drilling. We have constant bottom hole pressure. And there's, as we go down this road, there's becoming a bunch of other splinter capabilities that we're finding. And, and the, the uh, committee itself is right now in the midst of trying to identify all the uses for MPD, all the different technologies that are involved. And then in that, putting together some kind of a system and a tool that the industry and the world in large can use to identify when they do have a potential need for an MPD and what that managed pressure drilling type is. And then walk them down hopefully a, a set, set of uh, processes and procedures that will let them educate themselves a little bit and at least put them in the mm -hmm. right track to know what their next step is. Okay. Uh, and this, our objective on this will be a web-based tool that just about anybody can access at any time uh, and hopefully not only educate themselves but hopefully help their project out. Sounds like a lot of work you guys would be, you guys and ladies are to be commended uh, for doing this and uh, it's my understanding that we're going to have some rollouts of this at some upcoming conferences, the uh, IDC SPE Asia Pacific Drilling Technology Conference in uh, Ho Chi Minh City, November 1 and 3, and at IDC World Drilling, 16, 17 June in Budapest. I had to get those plugs in. Well, I'm glad you did, because <laughs> it also gives us a good opportunity to plug the work of, of our Underbalanced and Managed Pressure Drilling Committee. Uh, we do a lot of work in this committee. We do a lot of work in our quarterly uh, in our quarterly meetings and we do a lot of offline work there's no way that we can or any committee of this type can achieve what we achieve working two days every uh, two and or th every three months so uh, yeah and, and us going out and and plug not plugging but presenting what we're doing uh, either what we've achieved or what we're in the works I think does a lot of good for not only the committee itself but IDC in large and I believe the industry in large also very much so. Brian, thank you so much for your time here today. Um, managed pressure drilling, you know, promise or rabbit trail, I think definitely on the promise side, uh, IDC has a big commitment to these technologies and I think exciting things with the help of gentlemen like Brian are going to be in, in the bids to come. Uh, I want to also mention since it's late in the month of February, that we are close upon the uh, deadline for IDC membership. So if your company has not renewed, or if you have renewed but haven't updated your membership information for our directory, I encourage you to contact our membership department. You can do that through IEDC.org and just go to the membership section. Uh, again, thanks for tuning in to this uh, webcast. We hope to see you. I'm Mike Kilalea from uh, drillingcontractor.org and IEDC. Look forward to seeing you next time. In the meantime, keep turning to the right and drill safe. So long.